the NZP governorship candidate in Gogi State, uh, Maria Jaka. Thank you for joining us on News Night. Thank you. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. There have been accusations and counter accusations of attacks here and there. Uh, it's beginning to send uh, shivers down the spines of citizens in Kogi State. That's why we had to bring you on board. Now, speak to us about. Uh, the atmosphere in Kogi State as you prepare for the elections and what these could uh, send, the signals this could send uh, to those whom you're expecting to vote for you. Thank you very much. Kogi people were very peaceful people. The problem in the state is the state government. They are not allowing freedom of speech and freedom of choice. You see, democracy is about allowing the people to choose a person of their choice. But what the state government is doing, they are forcing people. How do you mean they are forcing people? You cannot, if you are not supporting the candidate of the governor, they treat you as an enemy. Mm. That's what's going on in the state. Well, let's just say that remains an uh, allegation. allegation. Mm. And we'll just leave it at that. I it's mean, not an allegation. You are, you are alleging attempts. Well, just like it's been stated earlier, I mean, uh, accusations and counter accusations. You are accusing the state government of trying to assassinate you. Yes. And the state government is also saying that you, or your camp, is trying to, you know, get rid of them. Where, where lies the truth here? But that's not even the issue. Um, have you made any reports to relevant authorities on yes. the issue of the question around uh, your safety? And what has the response been? I've written to the police. Mm -hmm. We have written to the DSS and written to the NSA. We have written to the president. And they should intervene. Let every candidate be allowed to go and promote his or herself. And let the people make the choice. Did you get any response from any of these institutions? What was the response like? Uh, like that the, in the case of the DSS, they have resp responded to a letter that uh, they are investigating the situation in the state, that they shouldn't worry. They will get back to us. Well, it seems all of this really is distracting from the real issues that should mm -hmm. be on the front burner exactly. discourse in Kogi State as the people, you know, go to the polls come November mm -hmm. uh, 11. Let's even see if we can, you know, extricate ourselves from that, uh, this line of discussion about who wants, to, you know, to take who out. <laughs> What are the issues for the people of Kogi State? And what exactly are the things that you believe you're better suited to provide for, you know, Kogi State if uh, you're elected governor? We're in this race because we believe we have the solution to the problem of our people in the state. Mm -hmm. What is the problem? What are their problems? Absolutely. One, uh, the local government, which is the closest government to the people now, for the past seven years plus, it has been percentage salary. And the letter of uh, appointment, there's no way stated that you shall be paid percentage salary. Well, percentage salary, I mean, exactly how do you mean? If only a percentage of the salaries are yes. paid? Yes. What percentage are we talking It depends on the mood of those consigned. Okay. Now, <laughs> um, if you get this opportunity, you know that a lot is dependent on you because your people, the people from Kogi East, have been clamoring for this opportunity for so long a time. Kogi State is the only state that uh, shares a border with 10 other states in Nigeria. How are you planning to take advantage of this positioning uh, for uh, inter-party cooperation to uh, better develop the state? You see, Kogi State is a state that's full of opportunities. What we need is to get, once we get this uh, seat that we're looking for, there's a lot to be done. With the commitment of our team as a shrine in our manifesto, our people will see real change. What we need in the state is commitment to the people. What, what are the real changes? See, um, is like it, for instance now. Now, now uh, you, you go on, right? but we, we need you to, uh, to really come out and you have an opportunity to reach out to your people now and uh, we just hope that you make the most of that opportunity to uh, let them see the leader in you that th that they want so what what are those changes that you want to bring on board one of, one of the major problem of our people is the problem of infrastructure right i know infrastructure is key to any development 
we tend to build the bad roads we have in the state. We intend to revamp the agriculture. We intend to take lights to where there are no lights, where there are no electricity. Right. We intend to revamp our educational sector. Of course, there's no money to build industry for now. There's in no money to build. In spite of the uh, IGR that, um, I mean, you have the Dangote, uh, you know, cement, you have all kinds of industries in Kogi State. It's, it's interesting to hear that, um, well, I mean, there's really no money. So what are you saying? That the IGR, as a January of, uh, you know, 3 billion uh, naira or so, I mean, what kind of strategy do you have to improve uh, on that and make Kogi State really reflect, you know, her strategic position? I mean, bordered by 10 or so states, it's a confluent state. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't travel across Nigeria and not stop by Lokoja, for mm -hmm. example. What are, what are you thinking of? What strategies are you coming up yeah, with? We intend to expand the tax network. Right. Mm -hmm. Because as it stands down, we don't know the status of our monthly IGR. Because they're conflicting. This month they'll tell is one point something. they tell us one billion. So we don't know the exact figure we are getting monthly. But once we get the right document, we put it together, then we work on it. When are you going to get these documents? Because it, you, you sound to me like um, you're waiting to get into office. No, before no, you, hang no. on, hang on a minute. Uh, you sound to me like you're waiting to get into office uh, before you begin your ground work. No, no, no. Now, hang, on, hang, on a minute, hang on a minute. No, this is not about projection. We're talking about you uh, getting your uh, roadmap ready before you even get into office, if you get the opportunity. Because that's what will tell us and tell the people that will vote for you that you're ready. That's so you should have done your homework to know how exactly much the state is that, generating that, that, and that then to know what you. to do with that. We are not sure of the actual earning of the state. Right. Mm -hmm. But our projection is, we said that we're talking about if we're able to earn from IIGR, say two billion monthly, which we're not sure. Because the documents you know, we're getting is not, uh, uh, it's not, it doesn't tally. So, but uh, we're targeting if we're able to make a portion of two billion, for instance, per, per month. Well, that Would seems lower than what the state government is, <laughs> you know, telling. Oh, well, and it's, it's not, it's not or true. At least Koga, it's, I mean, it says at least in, in January. Maybe okay, if you, are, if, you are, if, you are, if you are earning two billion above monthly, mm -hmm. how come you are finding it difficult to do most of the things that you're supposed to do? So it should clear that it's not true. Now right. you tell us. You and tell you, you. You don't think the the figures even coming from the National Bureau of Statistics are anything to to trust? <laughs> that you know these figures are garbage in, garbage out. <laughs> it's right. what they sent to the NBS that will reflect on their national documentation. Let's talk about agriculture. I mean that is mm -hmm. one area where the state has comparative you. advantage. If you it go, has coffee, it has cocoa, palm oil, mm. cashew. The, the list is endless. If you go you to the western part of the, of the state, right. the Okoland land to be precise, mm -hmm. have, they have vast land there. And they have organized farmers in this place. They have organized themselves into cooperatives. So we, by the grace of God, will get this opportunity. We intend to empower these people by supporting them based on how they have organized themselves. Mm -hmm. Because what they need is the equipment. Okay. Because farming has gone beyond the manual farming. Mm -hmm. What we intend to do is to, once we get the opportunity, to apply the Pakistani model by empowering the local farmers there, you know, mm -hmm. to improve on what they are already doing. Because we go to Okunlan, in fact. Are you looking at tourism? For example, Lokoja really should be a, you know, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> We have plan for tourism, right. but the infrastructures are key mm. to any plan for tourism. Okay, if Because, you, for if, instance yeah. now, mm. Lokoja Township Road. Right. It's in a bad state. Lokoja Township, Township has no drinking water. When you talk of uh, tourism when there's no water, when there's no road. Mm. In Lokoja in the night, most part of Lokoja is in darkness. Can the tourists come to a place where there's darkness in the night? So these are the things we are trying to take care of. 
if we get this opportunity. But if you don't well, get the opportunity, um, would you be willing to accept if whoever uh, wins calls you and says, come on, let's forget about party affiliations. Come, let's, let's, work, let's together. work together. Would you be willing to take up an appointment and I, serve? I'm not taking state? an appointment. I'm a Democrat. I believe in the will of the people. What if the, whoever wins now recommends you as uh, a citizen for a federal appointment? I believe very strongly, uh, comes from every 11, uh, people are going to decide in my favor. All right. But if it is not me and it goes the other way, mm. I'm okay. I will support whoever because our main interest is the people. Mm. Uh, that's good. I mean, because the AIG Zone 8 has cautioned all political actors to eschew violence during this election. Do you commit... Uh, to and you know, I'm 100% violence. committed to peace. Great, fantastic. That's a good place to live it. <laughs> uh, Motola Yakubu Ajaka is SDP governorship candidate in Kogi State. November 11 is the day. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.